as we celebrate uh, World Wildlife Week, uh, we are also pained that uh, we are losing uh, tigers, leopards and elephants regularly in India. Especially when you talk about losing tigers, we will have to discuss about what has been happening in Murumale where we lost 12 tigers in 34 days and in Chandrapur in Maharashtra where about 9 tigers were lost in just about 40 days. So this is quite painful. I mean you can understand tigers dying of uh, natural fights or uh, old age, other issues but uh, for them being forced bravely inside our forest reserves, especially our protected areas, it's quite disturbing. I mean, I would like to focus on the issue in Mudumale. Uh, there was a time when they found the Bavaria gang to have killed a tiger and a leopard and they'd also consumed the flesh of the leopard. Thereafter, somehow the senior forest officers in Mudumale failed to enhance the protection mechanism within the park. So this is where it led to. Uh, we know about a uh, tiger and the tigers dying of infighting, injuries they had uh, suffered injuries and thereafter we heard about uh, two tigers being poisoned near the near MRL which is the avalanche dam and uh, subsequently we heard about uh, First batch, the two cubs which uh, died of starvation on August 16th and on September 17, 19, they discovered four more cubs which had died of starvation. So obviously, the mothers have either been poached or they have died natural deaths. But there's no trace of the tigers. Now, surprising that uh, in a place where uh, the num tiger numbers of uh, their death are increased, we have a deputy director, Tarun Kumar, uh, who should be probed, who should be suspended for, in the first place for not protecting the area, by not increasing the protection uh, in uh, Sego range, especially after the first cub set of cubs had died. And he has also been surprisingly made the investigating officer, the I.O. This is quite baffling that the Tamil Nadu government has allowed this to happen. When a man who should be probed or suspended for the number of tiger deaths, uh, which is uh, phenomenal, I mean for such a short period of time, in 34 days we lose 12 tigers. Uh, okay, two we lost to territorial fights, fair enough. But for a government to allow an officer who should be reprimanded to be the high investigating officer is quite baffling. This I.O., the investig officer, investig invest investigating officer has written to us to give him circumstantial evidence of the tiger deaths in, uh, in uh, Mudumale, especially the Sego range. It is his duty to protect instead of collecting uh, data from others. In, in what way can a public health department? We, can, we are all interested in protecting our forests and our, uh, our tigers and other wildlife species. That is all our uh, ulterior motive is. We are not here for or against anybody. We are only concerned about our forests, our wildlife and our biodiversity. And for this gentleman to write to us and to ask us to provide circumstantial evidence by coming to his office, we find this to be very ridiculous. In the first instance, the Tamil Nadu government has failed uh, to have uh, put things in perspective. Immediately, this officer should have been suspended and an inquiry should have been called for. Instead of that, some bureaucrat using his power or her power has allowed this deputy director to be the investigation officer, which is quite ridiculous. Here we are asking the 
forest department in Tamil Nadu to just let us know what is the position of these two tigers. First, on August 16, two cubs were found dead. Where, what about the whereabouts of that tigress? Has it been poisoned? Has it been poached? Has it been electrocuted? Again, coming to the second set of uh, tiger cub deaths, we lost four between September 17th and 19th. Here again, there's no trace of the mother. No mother is going to allow the cubs to be starving to death. Uh, yes, there are times when uh, the male in that region will kill the cubs to sire their own uh, uh, progeny. But here, there is no trace of any animal there, no, no trace of the mother at all. And this particular region, forest region, is predominantly uh, what we call a semi-arid forest, more bushes, here and there, the high outcrop of trees are there. Uh, is it so difficult to identify that where this tigress must have disappeared? We would request the Tamil Nadu government to immediately take up this issue very seriously and to figure it out like where and how these tigers disappeared from the Seagore range. And we also request the Tamil Nadu government with the, uh, the Chief Minister N.K. Stalin take, being so proactive and he's been wanting the uh, forest cover, the diversity, biodiversity be increased in Tamil Nadu to 33%, and the forest cover to 33%. And when he, the Chief Minister himself is coming forward and wanting things to be done, here you have things going berserk out there. We have lost 12 tigers in 34 days. That's a record. It's the first time it has happened in the history of Indian uh, wildlife. Uh, this is quite shocking. But the way things have happened after that is even more shocking that and, uh, a man who should be <laughs> reprimanded for the number of tiger deaths within his range as a deputy director, he has been made as the IO, the investigation officer. Uh, this is quite ridiculous. And they think the National Tiger Conservation Authority is uh, incapable of taking any uh, action against such officers. Unfortunately, that is a scenario because it's just an autonomous body under the MOEFCC. Uh, but there is something called truth. One day or the other it will surface. Uh, so we are looking forward to the Tamil Nadu government, especially the forest department. Just let us know what happened to those two tigers. Are they dead or alive? That is all we want to know.